Hey guys, welcome in this video. I hope that all of you are doing right. So in this video, I'm going to share with you guys the process that I actually went through to improve my trading results. What are the kind of things that I've tried and what are the realization that I had, which actually led me to the situation that I am in today, which means that I have pretty good results and that I am very consistent on the market. So I'm really excited to share with you guys these lessons. I think that they will really be uh, able to actually help you when you're trading. So just before that we start, as always, leave a like under the video i would really appreciate it guys and make sure as well that you are subscribed to the channel if it's not already done so let's get right into it so when i got into trading right first of all the first year of my journey was not profitable and I essentially did absolutely nothing with that, right? Because at that time I was very young and I didn't have any mentors. So I just didn't know what I was doing on the market. I just didn't have a system. I didn't have a clear idea of what were the kind of trades that I needed to take, right? So it was really, really not great. And so what happened is that after that, I met my first mentor. I met then other mentors, right? I've had a few different mentors in my life. And then with these people, I was actually able to learn how to trade much better than what I knew. And then I started to improve my trading and I started to get some results, right? Now, at first it was decent, right? It was starting to, you know, be fine, but it was not that great neither in terms of the results that I had. And I think that one of the biggest mistakes that I was doing at that time um, was simply to use only technical analysis, right? So I was only looking at the chart in itself and I didn't understand anything about the economy, uh, geopolitics, right? Interest rates, monetary policies and stuff like that, right? So I had absolutely no idea of this world and all I cared about was the chart in itself. And so the problem with that, right, is that if you take one chart, for example, and you put 100 traders in the same room and you ask them to do an analysis on the chart, right, you will have 50 of them who will tell you to sell and 50 of them that will tell you to buy, right? So my point is that if you have, let's say, a bias on the chart, right, you can essentially, um, you know, make it say whatever you want for it to say, right? So. In other words, right, it's not that objective, right, in the sense that technical analysis, right, there are so many different ways of how you could analyze a chart, right, so that it becomes really hard to know in a specific situation, is there a higher probability that the market goes up or that the market goes down, right? And so when I was only using te technical analysis, right, I was able to get some results, right? but it was nothing that was that amazing, right? It was fine, right? But it was not that consistent and I felt like I needed to still improve something, right? And so I was profitable for a couple of years by using only technical analysis, right? I did get some good results, but as I said, right, it was not that great, right? And uh, I was not that consistent and there were some big drawdowns and stuff like that. So, you know, nothing that was that interesting overall and that was definitely not the level that I aspired to reach in my trading career, right? I wanted to get much better and I wanted to improve everything. So what I decided to do a couple of years ago was to go from only a technical analysis based system to actually a fundamental based system and using technical just for the timing purpose of the trade, right? And this is when literally my results got much better. My win rate increased, my average risk reward increased, I got a lot more consistent, right? And just everything was much better overall, right? So the big change here that I made was actually using fundamental analysis to get the idea of the trade, right? Or in other words, in which direction do I think that the market is going to develop? And then using technical analysis just as a timing function of the trade, right? I already knew what was the trade. I already knew which was the direction that I was, uh, you know, going for, right? And so I only used technical analysis as a way for me to actually get in the trade at the right timing. And so when I started to uh, work like that, my results got much better, right? Now, at that point, right, I was still taking quite a lot of trades. I was still working more on uh, short time frames and stuff like that, right? And so what I realized as well is that using fundamentals and technicals would probably work better on higher time frames. And the reason why is because if you have a very long term fundamental analysis, right, you have a really broad view of the market that could take weeks and even months to develop. Well, the problem is that if you take a lot of short term trades, even if it is based with this view, the problem is that on the short term, you will get ups and downs that sometimes don't really reflect your fundamental analysis or the patterns, for example, that you were looking at, right? And so trading on the short time frames actually would stop me from getting really, really consistent results, right? As I said, I was already profitable. I was already in a pretty good situation, right? But I was not where I wanted to be because my goal in trading has always to improve 
as much as possible and to optimize everything, right? So what I realized is that if I would work on higher time frames, so the daily charts, the weekly charts and stuff like that, well, on these time frames, the fundamental ideas that I had would be much easier to actually time on the market and it would just make more sense for them to play out on these higher time frames because they were really big fundamental ideas. And so when I started to do this, my results just skyrocketed to a new dimension, right? <laughs> so it was just much better, right? So for example, when the COVID crisis happened right in 2020, um, I was already, you know, trading that way, right? I was already um, looking at all of these things, right? And so what I realized is that, for example, commodity prices, right? So the grains, oil and stuff like that, right? Uh, I actually realized the situation that was going on, right? And I thought that the prices would increase. And so I got a lot of trades in this direction and I made the biggest amount of money that I've ever made with trading uh, you know, with this fundamental idea, essentially, right? And so I was able to trade this situation to multiple different markets, multiple different scenarios, right? And overall, it was just a really, really profitable year. And even since then, right, I've been really, really consistent. Even this year, as the markets are going down, as a lot of things are down, actually, right? So stock market, cryptos, even NFTs, right? Even if I don't really consider that in my own trading, right? Uh, everything is down, essentially, right? But I'm up on the year. And the reason why is simply because I'm able to trade not only these general markets, but I also trade commodities, currencies and stuff, right? And so by being able to trade all of these markets, it just gives me more opportunities. And again, using fundamental analysis to get trade ideas simply makes everything easier, right? So these are honestly, guys, the two main changes that I've made in my trading if I look at the past couple of years. And this is really how I was able to get better results. And then I would say on top of that, right, if we, if we want to add uh, a, a third thing, right, it would simply be to develop the discipline that is necessary to actually follow a system like this, right? Because as most of you guys already know, right, the trades that I take are more over the medium to long term. So I focus on big positions on big ideas, right? And going really aggressive on them. When I say aggressive, it doesn't mean that I will use a crazy big risk, okay? That's really not the idea. It means aggressive in terms of when I have an idea, I trade this idea, right? I'm focused on that and I try to maximize it as best as I can, right? And so what I've realized as well is that since these trades take longer to develop, right? A lot of people struggle with something like this simply because it takes a lot of patience, right? And so I think that building the discipline and building the mental toughness to actually be in a trade for weeks and months, right? And just being patient overall for it to develop. I think that it is really, really important. And this is something that I have to develop as well, because at first I was trading a lot more short term, then uh, a bit more medium term, and then a bit more long term, right? So I literally from one uh, place, right, to another, and they were two completely different things, right? So even for me, I had to develop this feeling of actually, you know, accepting the fact that it takes time, right? And to be patient, right? And so these are the three things that overall really helped me in my trading. This is what I wanted to share with you guys in this video. And I'm telling you, if you actually implement these things, right? Uh, your trading will get much better, right? All of these things are things that I cover inside of our coaching program. This is what our students actually go through in terms of the process on how to actually improve their trading, right? We go into uh, all of this in much more details. And for those who are able to actually apply it, right? Well, they can get really, really good results. And most of the time we see a lot of progress quite fast, actually. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned something valuable from it. If you did, please, again, leave a like under the video. I would really appreciate it. Make sure that you share it around as well. And on that, trade with care, manage your money well, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.